Well, there was great concern on our side when we fell behind so quickly. They had 13 points in the first at the first TV timeout. Uh, but we played much better. I think we only gave up 10 in the last 16 minutes of the first half. And then we continue to play good defense. At least I hope it was good defense. I know they missed some, some uh, wide open shots. But I think overall, we defended and we rebounded. I think this is the first game we've won the rebound battle in a very long time, 39 to 33. And I said before the game, we needed five guys in double figures. And we had four in double figures and another with nine. So that's kind of what I was hoping for, that kind of performance. Questions? You talked about what DJ, DJ had his first, uh, I think it was his first Double, career. double. Double, double, yeah. Well, uh, I think he, he would tell you, at, at Virginia, he didn't seem to be himself. And I had a long talk with him on Monday. And I could tell yesterday that his uh, he was in a much better place mentally and and emo emotionally, probably more emotionally. And he was very ready to play tonight. And you can tell that when a guy chases down rebounds. Now, most guys think the big guys have to do the rebounding. But if you look tonight, Buka had seven, but uh, DJ had 10 and Amp had 12. So that's that's really it a good team effort at the defensive end. And Sam Wardenberg chipped in with five, Chris with three. So, you know, that's what teamwork is. More guys contributing in many different facets of the game. How about Buka? I mean, the first half, he really kind of set you guys up. You know, he was pretty dominant in the first half. Yeah, he, had, he played 18 minutes in the first half, uh, but only 10 in the second half because of cramps again. Well, it's very interesting because when we played Notre Dame, and this is what I told the team at the half, when we played Notre Dame at Notre Dame last year, Lonnie Walker made a three at the buzzer. Uh, we got a, a defensive stop and kicked it ahead, and with about a half a second left, Lonnie Walker launched a three from the right corner, buried it, and I thought it gave us tremendous momentum. And then Notre Dame came out and scored like the first nine points of the second half. So I, I basically – told the guys, we did this last year. We can't relax and let them just come out of the, the blocks very fast in the second half and take away all the momentum. And we didn't. We, we, we played very well to start. And I think we scored maybe the first six points of the second half. And that, that put us at, at double digits, the lead at double digits. I and mean, we were able to sustain that, uh, maintain that throughout the second half. Um, yeah, probably, you're probably right. You'd have to go to, you can Google that. I'm not sure. Now, to the extent that YouTube says that, <laughs> Jim, Mike Bray felt that um, Chris Likes was a difference maker, not just on offense, but on the defensive end. Can you give us some thoughts on that? You know, it, it's very interesting, and, and maybe someone could do a, a, uh, research project on players in his size category and how they can impact the game. In Chris's case, throughout his career, he's impacted it a lot offensively. But from day one, when he arrived in the summer, July of his freshman year, we talked about how he could impact the game defensively. And these last two games, he's he's been really on point, uh, guarding uh, the point guard from Virginia, uh, Clark, and then sometimes Kyle Guy. And his defensive effort is is really paying off for us. Jim, <coughs> two sides too, in terms of just the gratification of the win from that streak, the losing streak, but obviously you're facing UNC next. There's those two wins on that end. Uh, well, let yeah, I, I, I don't like losing. I really like winning. It's very gratifying to win, especially 
uh, since you reminded me of our, our uh, five-game losing streak. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to enjoy this game tonight before I look look ahead to the next one. When the kids line up after the game there and they tap dance playing and they're waving their fingers, is it a different feel in the circumstance? Because um, it has been a while. Do you have a little different feel to it? Mm, I don't know. I was, hey, Leo, I didn't see you there. I, I was doing a TV interview, so I wasn't in line. I didn't notice the, the body language or anything. But I... I think it's it's nice to win, you know. Everybody likes winning. Nobody likes losing. Nobody. So, you know, we're fortunate. We played a good game tonight. You know, we got eight more just like this. Anything else? How about Bruce starting for the Pistons? Yeah, Unbelievable. All right, everyone, thank you. Thank you.